Did you take that like a man, Gamer Nation? I hope you did, because you're about to take it a lot more. Welcome back. More house. Here we have Trevor, who is excited that he took something like a man. I'm really wondering if Emily is real. So let's move on. Uh, sure. Foreman's like, what the fuck, kid? So what's the verdict? Do you need to stick me with any more needles? Almost done, Trevor. Just one more blood test. Man, with all these needles, I'm starting to feel like a voodoo doll. Now we're going to draw blood. This is... Is this his leg? No, it says upper arm, but... Didn't we just do this? Why are we... I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm going to jab Trevor with some more needles. Yes, I know how to do blood now. You'd think after a while it would turn off the uh, the help menu, you know, the help guides that pop up. But anyway, gamers, welcome back to Let's Play Blood Test. <laughs> the game where you take a lot of blood away from people. If you're a vampire, you should like this part of the episode. Good job. Let's rip this out, and we'll put a band-aid on it, and act like nothing ever happened. He should have, like, band-aids on everything already. So now we're walking. So, I have hypokalemic paralysis. Looks like it. The test Dr. Foreman administered shows that there's no ab an abnormal, <laughs> abnormal amount of glucose in your blood. Thirteen is just focused on his shoulder for some reason. Hey, Broham, <laughs> what's with the John Cleesey silly walks? You still upset? Walk? Upset? I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. Cheer up. Now that we know what you have, we could treat it. Yeah, after all this nonsense, you should be smiling. I am smiling. <laughs> Uh-oh. Eyes droopy. You're suffering from partial facial paralysis. And he's got a wobbly walk. Two new symptoms. Well, that rules out hypokalemic paralysis. Uh, your arm barely moved. Okay, where did he pull this needle from? Was the house just walking around <laughs> and just had it in his pocket and he just pulls it out and jabs him in the arm? I mean, I'm all for that if that happened, but I don't know. What does that mean? Muscle weakness. It means that you weren't suffering from paralysis when you were in that coffin. That was just severe muscle weakness. What? How do you know? Because some kind of descending mystery paralysis is working its way down your body as we speak. It would It sounded like somebody just shot a machine gun outside. <laughs> it wouldn't have just started at your arms and then gone up to your face and then back down your body. This is starting at your face and descending down your body in a straight line, blanketing you with a nice coat of numbness. How do we stop it? First, we have to figure out what it is. Dun, dun, dun. Take him back to his room. We'll need to study him. How he walks. How he moves. You want me to put him on a treadmill, do a stress test, that sort of thing? Yeah. How boring. No, I've got a better idea. <laughs> hey, what's up, everyone? The big man is back. The big man wants you to thank you for all your support. <laughs> I've been working around the clock on this video blog, but it seems like it's worth it. What? <laughs> Does anyone else notice how tired Trevor looks? Check out the corner of the screen. Their face is here. They're <laughs> smirk, 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 smirk. <laughs> well, it was 4.30 in the morning when he shot this. At least he's got a good work ethic. So the big man got up this morning and felt like going to the gym. The big man was pumped. The crippled man is going to vomit. <laughs> you help stay in shape. I'm on a strict diet of chicken breast, turkey breast, and salads. I just got to do what it takes to be better. No room for weakness. Everyone has a calling, and God called on me to do this. Now, for all the ladies out there, here's some poses. And this is why I became a doctor. <laughs> now, ladies, you can look, but you can't touch. My super hot girlfriend, Emily, wouldn't be cool with that. I'm a lucky guy. You can't tell me you didn't notice that. Notice what? The fact that I now have the image of Trevor flexing his muscles burned into my brain? No, can't you see it? Trevor... Locate the two clues that may lead to a diagnosis for Trevor's condition. 
Um, I thought it was the purple drink. So wait, we have this filmed? I was gonna say he has fingernail polish on, but... Does that look like blood on the towel? What? How did they get this from the video? Oh, these are clues, but yet that spider in that first episode was not. Locate the clue in this photo that made the diagnosis for Trevor's condition. Blah, 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 blah. The empty beer bottle. That clearly is not empty. It clearly has liquid in it. Locate the two clues in this photo that made the... Um, yeah. It looks like Trevor hasn't slept in days. Locate the clues. <laughs> um, Trevor's having problems swallowing. This is not a photo. This is a video still. Uh, prescription drugs. We already found all this shit. And now they're back to the smirks. <laughs> You're right, Foreman. He does have difficulty swallowing. His frat brothers wouldn't like that. Okay, what causes Joe College to experience an entire dormitory full of symptoms, including difficulty swallowing, eye weakness, paralysis, hives, and respiratory issues? Oh, God. Are you serious? Well, it's three words. It's got something that's got an R in it. Oh, my Lord. I'm... There we go. Aphmotropic lateral cirrhosis. Are we, really going, are we really going with Lou Gehrig's disease? Why not? It would explain the certain speech, muscle weakness, and difficulty swallowing. Yeah, but there's no cramping or twitching. Wow, 13. Just like a college student with a free period, you've got no class. Next. Oh. I need to do better on this one. Uh... Oh, yes! Ramsey Hunt Syndrome. It explains the facial paralysis. There's no ringing in the ear or hearing loss. No hearing problems in general. I'm having a hearing problem right now. Mainly, I'm hearing a lot of crap. What else you got? Oh, this one's like... I want to say it's that incompetence one. Yes! <laughs> Velociraptor incompetence. That's what we're going to go with. <laughs> Explains the muscle paralysis and the breathing difficulties. Yeah, but Trevor has no nasal air escape problems. Well, there's certainly a lot of incompetence around here. Next. Uh, give me a good clue so I can do this. Uh, e is the second letter on the second one. Oh, that was wrong. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that one. Damn it. Acoustic neuroma. Acoustic neuroma explained the facial numbness, weakness, and paralysis. An acoustic neuroma is a tumor. It would have shown up in the MRI. I'm afraid the Jewish Schwarzenegger is right. It's not a tumor. <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> it's not a tumor. It's a tumor. Uh, I'm guessing this one. Yes! Myothenia gravis. The difficulty swallowing, the eye weakness, and the general muscle weakness are all common symptoms. Also, MG is worsened by stress and lack of sleep. Makes sense. Jacques Lalamme is a tired, tense jangle of nerves. Good job. Good job. We figured it out. There's his, then there's his insane fad dieting. He's probably bulimic. How do you figure? Well, Mr. Low Carb went on a pizza binge the day of the attack. Seems suspicious, right? Okay, give Popeye, the failure man, a combo platter of tests to check for Mesothenia Gravis. So he's in the bathroom that long because he threw all that shit up, I bet. Well, what's the verdict? Wash the verdict. Looks like you might have Myasthenia Gravis. It's a neuromuscular disease involving muscle weakness and fatigue. We always think it's responsible for your paralysis. So what do you have to do? We gotta run a few tests. First, we have to give you an EMG test. What's... Wash... An EMG. It's an electromyogram. Tiny needle-like electrodes will be inserted into your leg muscles. Then the nerve... 
then the ner- why is he saying this? Then the nerve going to the leg muscles is stimulated to see how long it takes the signal to reach the muscle and make it tighten. Okay, let's do it. That picture was totally wrong. I'm like spitting. Oh, we get to do something different. Oh god. Uh Okay. Up. Right. Whoa, whoa, what was this? This is is this what did I do it right? I don't know. Okay, so up, down, up, left. Oh god, it's different! I thought it would be like Simon Says and just keep going. Uh, up, down, left, up, this way. Oh god, it's changing in. Left. Down, left. Okay, up, right, left, down, left, right? Yes! I hate randomness. At least it doesn't do more than five, so I'm okay with that. Ha ha! The electromyography is complete! Or whatever it is. Guess it's not as bad if you don't kill the patient. Well, thanks, House. Well, that wasn't show bad. How'd I do? Where's his parents now? Do they just leave when he gets worse? Your leg muscles barely responded to the stimulation. Doesn't look like it's Messinia gravis, but we'll keep testing. Fine by me. The next test is the ice test. We'll take a small towel dipped in ice water and apply it to your eyes to see if it improves your droopy eyelids. Whoa, you're not coming that close to my face. The only person who comes that close to my face is a chick. Well, I guess that takes me out of the running. Okay, I'll do the ice test. Perform an ice test on Trevor to test for him. I thought we already said it wasn't that. So, this is all we're going to do here. I have no idea if I'm doing this right. Ice test complete. Where did you come from? Why are you even here, James? Go away. I can handle this shit on my own. Hmm. If you had Mesothenia Gravis, the cold water would improve the droopy eyelids. Did it? Sorry, no. Your turn. Okay, Trevor, we're going to do a tenicillin test. It's going to give you a shot of adoprenium chloride, and this should block certain enzymes in your systems and improve your muscle weakness. Really? Well, if you have that, <laughs> if that's the case, we should see results almost immediately. You know they're going to give him the shot, and... The dude is going to, like, freak the fuck out. He's going to, like, <laughs> I totally didn't even get the error that the needle was going to go in. Watch. Like, right there, there's not... I didn't see what it said. There we go. Yes, I know how this works. Are you serious? Oh my god. See, it's going right there. Oh no, maybe not. They had to put these arrows here because the screen's not big enough for all the stuff. There we go. Always doing good on the band-aids. See, he should have a bunch of those on his arm. 
Yes, yes, yes. Oh, a 100. How do I look? <laughs> Eyelids still droopy. Arms are still weak. And your hives appear to be getting worse for some reason. Sorry, it's definitely not Macedonia Gravis. We need to keep testing. Damn it, Trevor. <laughs> so how's body by flake? <laughs> oh, man. Well, we rolled out the Macedonia Gravius. Don't worry, worse comes to worse. You'll be a hollow, paralyzed shell of a man who can only communicate by blinking. Hey, calm down. I was kidding. I'm sure you'll also be able to wiggle your nose like that woman on Bewitched. We need some help in here. What? What? <laughs> I don't even know what just happened. He just, like, freaked out. What happened? The paralysis is causing his throat to close up. We need to get him on a respirator. Oh, great. Uh, this thing. Okay. Oh, it would help if I put it in the right way. There we go. Oh, I gotta keep this on it. I always forget. I'm a terrible doctor. I don't know how to squeeze a bag with air in it. Good job! So now we're totally lost at what's wrong with it. <laughs> Good work, Foreman. You just earned your Save a Douchebag's Life merit badge. <laughs> wow. And he's like, the fuck? <laughs> Tob, watch him. Let me know if he exhibits any weird symptoms, like emotional growth. Foreman, come with me. There's something Trevor isn't telling us. How do you figure? It's simple math. Repressive parents plus lying about extreme dieting equals many more lies he's keeping under wraps. Take 13 and interview Emily, the hot girlfriend Trevor was bragging about on his internet videos. To see what she knows? No, to see if she's really all that hot. Oh, but I guess it can't hurt to know. see what she knows. Good thinking. Emily Valesquez. <laughs> and you know what, gamers? I am totally going to cut the video here. <laughs> oh, because we're going to save the interview for next time. As always, I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I will see you next time. Good night, gamers.